Hello, and this is part 7. It was supposed to be part 6, but part 6 is a uh, little bug fixing and part 5.5, which ended up being a little more uh, important than I thought it would be. A lot of people were interested in it, and it is a big part of RTSs, so I put it in there. Uh, so this is now part 7. Now, first things first, fixing that bug. When we have an object under building fuel, when an object's done, another one goes in. If we don't move that object, both of them get stuck. So we already fixed that one way by not letting an object go in the building if there's already one working. Now the only other one is if an object is finished working already. So we only let an object enter the building if the area where the building is, uh, where the object exits, is clear. Now the way you can fix that is by putting, going under the control tab, and there's this little thing called check empty. It's underneath questions. It's on the top left. And it just checks whether there's an instance in a specific place. And you can choose what kind of instance. So we applied it to self. And we said self.x. And under y we put self.y plus 32. And for objects we switched it from solid to all. So that way if n that nothing can be there in order for the object to go out. So now... Uh, it'll work for both if there's something already in it and if something just finished and something's still there so both of those will work and uh, we already have the if working is equal to zero statement for the object building fuel so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to change the variable if working will zero to other and we're going to take uh, before what we had was um, if a position is collision free, then a block of code. Uh, if working, and then a block of code with this. Now we're going to add a check empty like we did before with another block of code around that. So now working has to be equal to zero, and a position has to be collision free. That position is self.x and self.y plus 32 for all objects, but it applies to other. Now I'm going to explain other. Other is whatever object called upon that event. For instance, this is a collision event, so it calls upon the object that you collided with. And then you just go ahead and go through the rest of the code. So, that's the first part of resources. Now the second part. Uh, you'll notice we have, in a couple of my videos, we had these rocks. So you need some type of rock sprite. And then I made not only a rock sprite, but an uh, empty rock sprite. If you're doing medieval, you may want to do farm. Uh, play plain ground and then uh, crop and you can get it when the crops grown and then the crops go away and it waits a little bit and then crops sprout up again that usually works so for rocks what you have is collision with ship underscore worker you execute a piece of code where it just changes into the empty rocks the rocks no longer there so we have I have instance underscore change in parentheses rocks underscore empty comma true as it does do the create event now when rocks are score empty on create, we have alarm in brackets zero, so alarm zero equals 200. So 200 steps after the rocks, instance underscore change rocks comma true. So it's changing back into the rocks, and then when the object collides with rocks, goes into empty, waits out, and then comes back. Now uh, finally we have ship underscore worker, and we'll put in rocks instance underscore change into worker underscore gatherer comma true and this is our last new object worker underscore gatherer this gatherer uh, basically just goes towards the base and you get the resources it brings the resources to the base so the way we do this is we have two events a step and a collision with building underscore main for step, what we do is we mp potential step, which is mp underscore potential underscore step. In parentheses, we have underscore, I mean, uh, in parentheses, we have building underscore main dot x, comma building underscore main dot y, comma four, comma false. Which means we only stop for solid objects. We move at a speed of four, and we move towards the building x, the building mains x and y. And we also have image underscore angle equals point underscore direction and then parentheses self dot x comma self dot y comma building underscore main dot x comma building underscore main dot y. What this does is it 
points the object towards the building and this happens every step so if you go around an object it'll look like it's still pointing and sh uh, strafing around and it'll keep moving towards the building it's a live update type of thing and finally when we actually collide with the building lives equals lives plus 100 and instance underscore change into ship worker with true so it does all the create events and speed equals zero so speed equals zero means it stops moving the lives equals lives plus one that's another resource i'm just using it as lives so that way it's easy to display and instance underscore change means it's just changing back into the worker now so it's the plain old worker um, i'm just going to edit that a little bit i'm going to change true to false All right. Now, we have the last thing, building underscore main. Under create, we have lives equals 200. Now, lives is another type of thing. In this case, it's going to be or because we're digging from rocks. And somewhere, I think it's under step, set the caption info. You'll have to go into show lives. We're going to be showing lives. Sw change don't show to show and change the caption to or or whatever you're going to be doing maybe it's food from a farm we're just going to go ahead and create that we're going to go ahead and boot up the game and uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a worker as soon as we can and uh, we see we have our rocks don't forget to add that and we go ahead and select our object and uh, we can click on the rocks click near the rocks you can see it quick grabbed it and went back um, and we have more or uh, let's see so we grab that we just go around and then we head back to where we're going now um, let's see I'm noticing a bug uh, it's not supposed to be going back it's supposed to stop once it hits the building underscore main but I think I know it's wrong okay uh, Okay, that would be it. Um, it's not hitting the stop object, meaning, okay, so we have worker underscore gatherer. Um, we're just going to change that back to from false to true again because later when we have health and whatnot that'll be crucial so ship underscore worker in the change instance when you change back into the worker set it to true otherwise we're just gonna keep having problems and it's a lot easier that way and I, another problem will be when you add health and when you add enemies you're just gonna regain your health when you revisit your uh, base anyway so so we go ahead and select that and we zoom over here and in the meantime I'll create another one of these guys and move this guy over select both of these guys and I'll move them over and one both of them can't do it so I'll just select one and uh, move these guys out of the way but um that'd be it okay so we have one there and because we have one there it can't move another one was right there and it was just hitting the coordinate however if I deselect this guy and I reselect this guy and I move him out of the way I deselect him reselect this guy near there and huh, look there he's there he's right in so we're all set and uh, you can select these guys and as before and I showed you before you can select and deselect them with that only one of them can carry the rocks at a time however so thanks for watching please rate please comment there's part seven there's your other resource uh, and part eight shouldn't be too long so thanks for watching